is the most famous zoologist in Victorian Britain, Professor Richard Owen. Owen is a formidable enemy. He's the head of natural history at the British Museum, but he's not just a scientist, he's also a political mover and shaker. It's Owen who founded this beautiful building to house his collection. The interesting thing about the two men is that they once were close friends. In fact, Owen identified a number of fossils that Darwin brought back from his trip around the world. It was only when Darwin published his theory that Owen's feelings of friendship turned to hatred. Richard Owen is arrogant, but he is no fool. As a scientist, he sees some merit in Darwin's work. But Owen disagrees with the explanation of the natural world that requires no God. Owen is deeply religious and incensed by Darwin's implication that man is descended from an ape. Richard Owen has his own very different theory. He believes that God created a series of archetypes. These ancient creatures then became the basis for the development of all future animals in that group. Unfortunately for Owen, no one has found one of the divine archetypes that would prove his version of creation. But all this is about to change with the discovery of one of the most famous fossils of that era. In 1862, Owen bought this fossil for his museum. It's about the size of a pigeon and was dug up in Germany. It became known as Archaeopteryx, or Ancient Wing. Now Owen was beside himself with joy because this was the very first fossilised bird ever discovered. So he gave it pride of place in the museum. For Owen, Archaeopteryx is the original bird created by God. 